Station. Oh no, I forgot to take the damn picture off. There we go. Welcome into the stream, everybody. We are doing more cooking because what the hell? It's fun. Tonight, as you, if you read the thing, which honestly, I don't remember if I even did a complete sentence, but we're doing fettuccine alfredo tonight. And we're doing a homemade pasta. It should be bomb. We will... We'll see if I can actually do the homemade pasta. I've never done homemade fettuccine noodles, so just in case, we do have a backup plan. There's, I'm not gonna say there's a great chance, but there's, there's a 50-50 chance that I end up completely fucking it up when I try to put it through. I've got a bunch of stuff prepped up for us. I forgot one last thing to do, and then we will just get started with everything. Obviously, I will explain whatever the hell I'm doing and not just leave you guys hanging in the balance. I'll wash my hands, I'll be back. And also, best sous chef in the world. Totally great at cleaning floors and tasting food. You doing good work, kid? Are you so helpful? Are you so pretty? Huh? Are you so pretty? All right. Hi, Rosie. Gabby says hi. Okay, so starting off. Now, I split the pasta in half for the recipe. That way, the stuff that needed to sit was ready to go. <laughs> it's okay. I know why you're really here. You don't have to pretend. It's all for this one. Come here. Everybody wants to see you. Nobody likes my face. But it's fine, because you're cute. And I'm getting a call from Indiana right now. We're just gonna ignore that. Okay, so in this bowl here, we have our rested pasta dough. <laughs> Would shut up, I know my dog's cuter than I am. I accept that fact. But now we will, oh my God, leave me the fuck alone, whoever you are. So we'll start off, we got a cup of flour. And you will always want to make a well in the middle of your flour. And <laughs> make sure to make it deep enough. When I did this for the test batch, I 100% did not and just dumped eggs over everything. Sup, bruh? And then what we will do is you go for just a little splash of olive oil. Oh, no, 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 don't. Don't turn the overhead light on. Nobody needs to see me in that kind of light. No. I am hideous. And I should probably finally clean this thing tonight. We have, there are three eggs for the full recipe. So in this little bowl here, already just lightly beaten, we have the other egg and a half. We will very carefully pour it in the middle. And now comes the fun part where I make a giant mess. We're going to, yep, nope, there we go. Y'all, I always fuck up my wells. I always do this. But it's okay. It doesn't have to look pretty, you just have to finish the job. And you'll want to just start getting, I know, you want me to drop things, but I'm not. I'm not going to drop anything, friend, not this time. You want to just start getting the egg mixed into your flour to start and then it'll slowly come together usually just takes maybe a minute to actually get it to start to form and then comes the fun part of kneading the dough we are almost there it'll still be pretty flaky when you start to knead it so like right now as you can see it'll kind of form or you know what let me let me get some flour off my hands and I can bring the camera over to show you guys can see it's starting to come together pretty well 
We'll see how this is gonna work. I'm gonna. How's that? Is that good? We're good. Okay. So now comes the fun part. Now we gotta knead our dough. And for pasta dough, it is. It's not fast. It's gonna take about like eight to ten minutes to really get this kneaded properly. So still a little dry. It's always better to start a little lighter on your liquid and then add more later if you need. We're gonna add a little bit more egg into this. Do, do, do. Nice. There we go. Y'all, I'm a damn professional. <laughs> That's right, Corbin. I've already been claimed. It's too late, bruh. Alright. Now we're actually starting to come together with our dough a little bit here. You want to do your best to just mix in the dry sitting around the outside. That way as you start kneading it more and more, you don't have a bunch of loose flour. And my apologies, it's going to be a fucking mess over here. <laughs> um, excuse me, sir, she is never too late. I'm leaving you. This is my announcement. But you, I usually end up just kneading it one hand and you'll, you'll want to have that perfect combination of gentle but a little bit firm. And the more you knead it, you'll know that it's got the right amount of liquid to dry as it starts to Still kind of show some spots of flour when you're about halfway done, but for the most part look like it's done. And then, like I said, it's about eight to 10 minutes of kneading this. It is, uh, it requires a little bit of patience and work, but it is very much worth it. And we're gonna see if this one comes out as well as the one that's resting. I'm, I'm hopeful, but then comes the part of having to use the Dough press. And fun fact, I've only ever done that once in my life, and I didn't fuck it up that bad. But we're slowly but surely getting there. It's, here, I'll pull out the other one. So here's our done ball. As you can see, it is nice and smooth. This one, we still got a little bit of dry, a little bit of stuff. I, <laughs> I'm gonna try and read the chat. <laughs> Bruh, I am not Tim. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving, okay? It's not happening. I'm not gonna completely disappear. You are still my husband, okay? It is fine. We're fine. <laughs> I know, in what, four years I've been here, bruh? <laughs> All right, we're getting close to done with this. We got a pretty smooth dough. This will give it another minute, because you can never be too careful. Yeah, I know, that whole Jessica situation was just, uh, I still feel bad for how that happened, man. Okay, let's see how we're looking here. Eh, it's a little rough. Like I said, eight to ten minutes for kneading your pasta dough. It's, uh, it's gonna take you a second. So we're, we're good enough. My hands, well now I can switch hands. I will do it properly for you guys. <laughs> I 
Like I said, we're a big old weird ass family, guys. Okay. Now our ball is ready. And what we're gonna do is because I do my best to not be wasteful and conserve things, we're gonna just reuse the plastic wrap from the other ball of dough. I'm gonna set aside for a sec. And once you are done making your dough ball, it's got to sit and rest for about a half an hour. So I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to pick this up, and we're going to ignore the giant egg mess on the counter from when I completely fucked up my well earlier. That did not happen. I know I saw a giant message from Rosie, so I'm gonna see that. <laughs> there we go. See? She's the best. She's correct that. She is awesome. I know she's not a fan of me saying stuff like that. No more pressury words. You're awesome. How about that? Okay. Now we gotta clean up our giant mess, which is a very accurate depiction of me for life. Just one big fucking mess after another, but hey, I still pull it together. And now, it's time to start making all of the smart decisions. Like, setting everything in my own damn way. Okay, so we got our finished dough ball here, as you can see, nice and smooth, and I did almost throw it off the counter, we're good, we're fine, I am going to grab out a cutting board, oh my god that was loud, I'm so sorry, and first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to split your dough in half, it is important that you don't have too big of a piece going through your pasta roller, that way it doesn't break. We have, I don't know where anything is in this kitchen, so you guys are going to have to stare at my butt for a second here. Where are any of these going? I came prepared today. There should be... It's in this way. I will be back. Stare at the cute. No, don't leave. Stay in there. You gotta entertain the people, friend. <laughs> okay. So we'll go ahead and do it one at a time. Set up as neatly as possible. I really just made this super difficult for myself. So next up. Y'all, what the fuck am I doing? Other than being smart. It is time to start rolling out our pasta. Because you want to get it thin enough that we can actually push it through. Let's see here. And obviously, if you don't have a nice pasta maker or any pasta maker, this works just as fine. I knew I should have worn shoes. God damn it. Is this what y'all want to see? Look at that. All right. These are feet, okay? I am more than just my feet. Okay. Now that we're done with me being dramatic and dumb, it's time to start putting it through our pasta roller. And... You'll start on your number one setting, and we'll just push it on through. It's actually going to behave. There we go. I'm always so paranoid about doing this, because I feel like I'm going to break it every time, and I just want to do right by the pasta. And you'll put it through three times. I'm just going to oh shit. Don't do that. Don't you break on me. There we go. All right, time to 
now number two. Don't stick. I'm trying to do my best to pay attention to. <laughs> I'm gonna try and keep an eye on the chat, but also y'all are y'all are fucking dirty tonight. God damn. Somebody needs a cold shower, okay? Okay. First one is done, so you'll pop it up to your number two setting. And again, we're going through three times. Don't worry, I meant to do that. <laughs> Y'all, calm down. <laughs> You know what that is fair. Corbin is a terrible influence most of the time. How do you think I became so extra weird? And also, there have apparently been six people watching this for a couple of minutes now, so to everyone who's actually watching this, thank you for tuning in. This is, uh, this is dope. All right, second time through on number two setting. Make sure to carefully grab it out. And one more time as well. Okay. All right. And as you all can see, I haven't fucked it up so far. We're, we're doing pretty damn good. Next up, we'll again, just go up one more. We're up to setting number three. We'll go through three times on this. And also, fair warning, this is my first time ever making homemade fettuccine, so obviously not making Alfredo sauce. That shit's easy. It's, it's the pasta I have not done before, and we're going to see what happens. I'm going to finish rolling this, and then I will... Classy. <laughs> what about me says classy? I don't know what the fuck y'all are talking about. I can barely string together two words. <laughs> I am not a monkey, okay? I'm, I'm gonna roll this pasta because I want to, not because you told me to. Okay. There we go. So now we are our third time through on this bad boy. Starting to get nice and thin. And from this point on, we're going to go for three more settings. But we're just going to go through one time on each of them. And you want to be careful not to pull it through too fast, because it starts getting real delicate at this point. <laughs> It's not fair that you know that I like it when you're bossy. Stop that. All right, over to setting number five. Now here comes the part where Sean gets real stressed out and hopes he does not fucking destroy the pasta. There we go, okay. So. <laughs> Let's see here. Now comes the fun part. It's starting to get real elastic -y since it's getting so thin. So letting it roll on to itself is, uh, it starts getting a little temperamental. But we're gonna. So wait, which setting was that? Was that number? Ah, yeah, I still gotta go for one more time. Okay, guys, I'm. I'm nervous. We've. That was me. I. I'm gonna make you pay for that later. That was just, that was straight up cruel right now. I should not have, 
I shouldn't have looked at my phone. I'm just going to put this through on the last number six setting. And let's see here. Carefully pull it apart as to not destroy it. Because once you start getting real thin with this, it does not take much to tear. But ha ha! We now have a big old fucking thing of pasta sheet ready to go. Now comes the second part. And that's rolling shit again. Here, we'll turn the camera so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. Oh my god, I'm sweaty. I'm sweaty. This kitchen is warm. Ignore that. Nobody saw that. Okay. So... Now we go through the dough cutter portion. And we're gonna just... We're gonna hope for the best. We're gonna... We're gonna cross our fingers. It's fine. I meant to do that. We're gonna... Pretend that didn't happen. Gonna, we're gonna push through the mistake. That is totally fine. I'm gonna make sure this thing is actually settled in here properly. We're gonna get all that stuck dough out that we can. And we're gonna try this one more time. <laughs> I really didn't mean to fuck it up. I was trying my damnedest. Okay. So. Attempt number two. Feed it in. And. Why aren't you going through? Okay. We're just going to see what happens. I'm not stopping. We're, we're too far gone. Nope. Nope. Okay. Remember how I said I was <laughs> I was buying fresh pasta just in case? Well, here is the just in case. It will make delicious pasta. Oh no, don't eat that. That is raw flour, friend. <laughs> oh my god, I'm a now comes the part where the professional comes in. And I just, I fuck it all up. It's okay. I got more dough balls. We'll try it later. It, I mean, it came through, but I lost about half my dough on that one. So, we have... We have our floured sheet, and we will just set it on down here. And we have almost enough pasta for one dish, but that's okay. The rest of that, I will, I will make different pasta with later because the dough is fantastic, it's just that I need to learn how to actually use one of these things. And that's okay, we all gotta know our limitations. Okay, I'm probably gonna regret this. Do I need to just not look at my phone for the rest of the stream? <laughs> I think, I think that's probably a good idea, but also I don't know that I can actually do that. I am casual. Very casual. <laughs> okay, so we're going to use what we have there for that pasta, 
along with the actual non-disaster pasta I bought from the store. That way it actually works. But now we can start working on our Alfredo. At the same time, we're going to start getting our water going for the pasta and season your water. It's easy. It's salt, oil before you start boiling it. I'm gonna wash my hands since I keep touching my hair. Y'all can, no, stop walking out of the camera frame, bud. They need something pretty to look at. No, you don't want to be internet famous. No, okay, that's fine, you do you. Okay, and we're back. Now comes the Alfredo. Which I'm just gonna get this out of the way. Clean that up later. So we'll get our pan heating up. And we got six tablespoons of butter. Which actually let me let me see if I can situate the camera over here so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. On the move again. Yeah, good enough. Alright. So we'll go on a medium high heat with six tablespoons of butter to start. softening so it should not take long at all and while we wait for that I'm gonna go ahead and cut my chicken so grilled chicken personally is the way to go with chicken alfredo just for one second I pre-cook my chicken breasts I actually stay there stop moving I like to be lazy and have it just ready to go, so cook your chicken 165 degrees. Why are you doing this to me right now? Why? I'm going to refocus. So simple seasoning is what I usually go for. We just got salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder and a little bit of smoked paprika just to keep it fairly mild but add a little bit of flavor. And we're gonna cut this a little bit on the bias. Make them look nice and fancy. So you're just cutting them at a little bit of an angle. Not too thick, not too thin. And then before we toss it in the sauce, we're gonna just Crisp it up in a pan a little bit. My butter is just about melted. And my knife cuts a little bit trash. I need to quit being so rusty. Okay. Chicken is cut and ready. That is almost done. So. The next things we're gonna need for the sauce are nice and easy. We have a cup and a half of Parmesan cheese. We grab the other thing I need. Typically, heavy cream is the way to go for chicken alfredo or for making alfredo sauce. I prefer to not die of just too much rich food. So I usually just go whole milk. It, it cuts down the richness a little bit, but it still tastes pretty much the same. And we'll go for two cups of that. Let's see here. Water's looking good. Butter's almost melted. I'm gonna check my recipe real quick. Next up, we're going to grab ourselves a whisk. We're going to start slowly adding in our milk. Now we've kind of 
tempers at the same time as that mostly melted butter. My apologies if the next couple of seconds are just going to be a bunch of sounds of metal scraping on a pan. Just, we're going to get through it. The water is getting close. I'm not, I'm not checking my messages. You stop that right now. Okay. So we've got our milk and butter, and we'll just keep stirring that. Personally, the secret ingredient for my Alfredo is a little bit of nutmeg. It just adds a little bit of depth to the flavor, so we're gonna just add in maybe about a teaspoon's worth. Go ahead and whisk that through. I also, I like plenty of black pepper in my Alfredo. close to a boil on that. You'll start seeing, let's see if I can actually do this without making a mess. Eh, eh, of course not, it's long enough. I usually do put garlic in, yes, but I forgot. So we have some garlic powder that we're gonna do. It's, usually I would have sauteed the garlic in with the butter, but my brain don't always work great. Okay, good. That's interesting. All right. They're getting close. Once it's about to a boil, it'll be time to add our cheese. And again, we got about a cup and a half of Parmesan. Went for some super nice aged. Let's see if I can not pour this all over the counter. I didn't make too much of a mess. We're good. We're totally good. Usually you want to just gradually add that in, but I'm a fucking mess in case you couldn't tell. Alright, and now we'll just keep whisking that and get it to thicken up for us. well this recipe works. I went off of a baseline recipe and went from there. It confused me that they didn't use a roux, but we're just gonna, we're gonna run with it. We're gonna see what happens. But we're getting there. Keep that heat going. Make sure you don't burn. No. I should have listened to what my brain was saying and actually made a roux. It's looking like it's not gonna come out thick enough, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cheat a little bit, that way it still comes out right. I'm just gonna make a quick cornstarch slurry. Because right now we just have, we got some, we got some soup right now. That did not come out. There are no mistakes, just happy accidents. water run for a solid like five minutes so it actually heats up. Our water is up and boiling.
non-disaster pasta in. And for your fresh pasta, you don't really need much cook time on that. You'll look for like two to three minutes tops, usually about like a minute and a half though. to fix the recipe. This is a little bit coming together, but not really. We are going to need to thicken that up. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't, uh, I fuck things up a lot in the kitchen, but I usually figure out ways to make it up and make it right. So we're going to just add some cornstarch to some hot water. It's the quickest and easiest way to fix a mistake. I don't know if you guys can see, it's thickened up a little bit, but we're still just not hitting that super, super rich Alfredo texture. So, got a little cornstarch slurry ready to go. I'm going to see how well I can do this and not burn anything. And we're just going to slowly, yep, we're going to Slowly dump it all over the fucking cooktop. That sounds like a good idea. And it, it thickens up real fast once you start adding it. So a little bit at a time just to get your consistency right. And again, I'm a fucking mess in the kitchen, so don't mind everything being a fucking disaster. Pour the rest of that in. Let that cook off and reduce so we actually get a sauce. You know, most professionals would actually test out a recipe before doing it on the internet, but I'm not a professional in case you guys hadn't noticed that. The good news is, we do have pasta. And you know, if anything else, I didn't make a mess, it's fine. Everything's fine. We have the most important part. <laughs> hey, thank you for the compliment, but also fuck off. I will fight you, okay? We're gonna, we're gonna go back up here. got our finished pasta. And go ahead and strain that. <laughs> Someone is just being extra sassy tonight. I'm enjoying this. The sauce is pretty much coming together. Gonna need a little bit more. That's okay. Like I said, there's always a chance to fix things when you make a mistake. Use a little bit more, a little bit thick cornstarch slurry this time. To answer your question, yes. the rest of this in. There we go. Now we're getting there. Okay. The last step while we get our sauce 
cooking and ready to go. First of all, you have to actually grab your stuff and play in. up we are just gonna saute our chicken real quick there we go now we're getting a nice thick sauce I meant to do that everything's fine Since it's already cooked, we're just looking to add a little bit of color to it. I'm... Calm down. I will have food for you momentarily, sir. Okay. So we're going to come over here and plate up our pasta. for this is I didn't buy any fresh parsley. So I don't know about you guys, but I definitely like having just a little bit of fresh parsley over the top. <laughs> it's, it's the right thing to do. You know, you just, you know it's going to be delicious, but also take forever. So, Preparing yourself beforehand is not a bad plan. Okay. This is... Whoop. I didn't do that. We're cooking for me, so obviously I made a shit ton of protein to add on this. But what we're going to do to plate this up is we are just going to... Do a little stack in the middle with some of our most viewed pieces. Oh, hey, that is still hot. Don't do that. Let's see. I have extra Parmesan in here somewhere. I think. Aha. Obviously, you need more cheese, so we're going to add a little bit more Parmesan on top. And last piece. We don't have fresh, but we need... Trust me, I'm going to fuck this thing up with cheese as soon as the camera's off. That was, that was not enough cheese, but it was a presentation level of cheese. It needs some color because right now it is... Although delicious, it's just, it is very one note, so we're going to add just a little bit of dried parsley. Not the most beautiful, but it is food. It's... <laughs> we're going to have to fight later, okay? <laughs> but that was... <laughs> You're killing me. I can't even with you right now. <laughs> but that was me doing an absolutely professional and 100% perfect chicken alfredo. 
Thank you guys for watching another disaster of a cooking stream. Next time I'll probably pick something that I know how to make well. That way it's not as, uh, not as much like somebody just threw a chimp in a kitchen and was like, here, figure it the fuck out. But thank you guys very much for watching. Have a wonderful night. I will be back for more tomorrow night.